Okay, so without using a calculator, let's see if you can figure out this simple percent question. And the question is the following. We have the square root of two percent of five times the square root of two. All right, now this is a multiple choice question. Let's gonna take a look at our answer choices. So A is 0.1, B is one, C is two, and D is 10. All right, now, if you can figure this out, we'll go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'll walk through exactly how to solve this problem step by step. Matter of fact, I want to show you two ways you can get this problem right. And even if you don't know how to solve this problem, just go ahead and guess. I won't penalize you for getting the wrong answer. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so one more time, we're not going to use a calculator. So this is going to make this problem interesting. So we have the square root of 2% of this number, five times the square root of two, and here is our answer choices. All right, so let's go to take a look at the correct answer. The correct answer is A, 0.1. All right, now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and A plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence because indeed, you are a certified professional expert in the area of percent. So that is fantastic, and uh, even if you didn't know what to do on this particular problem, there is a great way to figure out the right answer. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, now here we go, and the reason why this problem is confusing for most people is that we're dealing with these square roots right here. So what can we do? Well, first of all, anytime you are uh, dealing with a math question that is multiple choice, uh, multiple choice question, uh, I would say nine times out of 10, maybe not that, that often, but uh, probably more than 50% of the time, you can use the answers to figure out the problem, even if you don't know how to do the math on the problem, i.e. you can just kind of use some common sense and uh, do some things to uh, select the right answer. Now we know the right answer is 0.1, but what can we do here? Well, again, for most people, uh, the square roots are giving them a problem. So one thing that you could do is just kind of estimate a problem that's similar to this problem in value and see if we can get the right answer. So let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so estimation is an awesome tactic to use on uh, math questions, on test exams, etc. So let's take a look at the square root of two. Now, again, we don't have our calculator, but if you were um, to put the square root of 2 into your calculator, I believe it's around 1.41, something along those lines, or 1.3, whatever uh, the case might be. That's not too important. But let's just kind of round this value to 1. Okay, now we know it's over 1, but it's not 2. So we'll just call it 1. So the square root of 2, we're going to think of this as 1%, not the square root of 2%. So if we're calling the square root of 2 1, but then this square root of 2 right here, would be one as well. So this value would be five times one or five. So let's see if we can figure out 1% uh, of five. Now, of course, this isn't the actual problem, but these values aren't too far off, okay, uh, from the actual uh, question, right? Now, it, they are different, but they're not radically, uh, you know, let's say different. So if we can figure out the answer here, then we could use the answers to uh, the answer selections to kind of see if we can eliminate uh, some obvious things that won't work. Now let's get back to this question right here: one percent of five. Now, if you're saying, "Hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm still confused right here on what one percent of five is," well, let's go to this question: What is fifty percent of five? Just get some sort of baseline sense of per the percent of this uh, number right here. So 50% of five, right? We're looking for 1% of five, but 50% of five is what? Well, it's one half of five or 2.5. So 1% of five is a pretty small number. If 50% of five is 2.5, then 1% has gotta be a pretty small number. So if we go back to our answer selections here, it's certainly not going to be 10. It can't be two because 50% 
uh, 5 is 2.5, so we're looking for something close to 1%. So it's not going to be 1 either, so this would make the most uh, sense in terms of just kind of guessing here, right? So A would be 0.1. So this is uh, one kind of approach that you could use to uh, figure out the right answer without even knowing how to do the problem. All right, so don't forget about estimations, and when uh, you're looking at a math multiple choice question, I would say, uh, you know, uh, the odds are eh, more than 50% of the time that you can use the answers to figure out the question. Well, maybe not to solve it, but to get the right answer, and that is the objective when you are taking exams. All right, but uh, the better way to do this problem, maybe not the better way, but the more exciting way is to actually understand the math going on here. So what do we have? Well, we are finding the percent of a number. Now, of course, we have the square root of 2 uh, here, which is confusing. But really, we're doing uh, something very similar to this problem. Okay, We're going to just find the percent of a number. So if you're like, ah, I'm still a little bit confused, well, then use a simpler uh, version of this uh, problem to review how to do the math. So for example, uh, to find a percent of a number, maybe like 7% of 80, how do we find 7% uh, of 80? How do you find a percent of a number? Well, what we need to do is change the percent to a decimal. So 7% is the same thing as 0 0.07, and then we multiply that decimal by the number, and then of course if we have a calculator, we can figure out the answer. It's not really important to get the answer, we just, uh, we're kind of reviewing the procedure here. But uh, some of you might be saying, well, I'm still confused, Mr. U2 Math Man. Well, let's kind of take a look at how 7% becomes 0 0.07. So how do, um, how do we change a percent to a decimal? So what we do, okay, for most of you, uh, you probably remember it this way. So 7% is the same thing as 7.0%. So you move the decimal point over two places to the left, and that's 0 0.07. And that, in fact, is the correct uh, way to do it. But really... That is the result of dividing the number by 100. When we divide a number by 100, we move the decimal point over two places to the left. So this is really what is going on. Okay, so when we want to change a percent to a decimal, we divide by 100. And this is a big, big clue here on how to solve this problem. Okay, so if you're saying, hmm, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I want to figure this out on my own. Well, here, here is your clue divide by 100 and apply this procedure to that problem. All right, so let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about right now. Okay, so the square root of 2% of this number, well, we have to change this percent to a decimal, okay, or a fraction. Okay, a lot of people confuse that. It has to be decimal. No, like, for example, 25% is the same thing as the decimal 0 0.25, but it's also the same thing as the fraction 25 over 100, which, of course, is one-fourth. So we can e either use the, the fraction one-fourth or the decimal to multiply by a number. And what we're going to do here is use the fraction. So we're going to change this percent to a decimal, and along the way, all we have to do is divide by 100. But we'll just stop. We'll just use the fraction. We don't need the decimal, okay? Uh, we could use the decimal. Again, let me show you this example. 25%, we could uh, move the decimal point over two places to the left, but that's the result of divided by 100. So we could use uh, 0.25 or the fraction 1 fourth if we're trying to find 25% of a number. Okay, a lot of people think it's got to be the decimal. No, it could be the decimal or the fraction. All right, so uh, the square root of 2% is the same thing as the square root of 2 over 100. And now we could find uh, or take this and multiply it by that to get the right answer. So let's go to take the next step, which of course is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, don't you just love the way I kind of sneak that in? Well, I have to sneak this in because this is very important to me. Now, why is this important? Well, it's important because I'm trying to reach as many people as possible to help them with math. That's why I teach math. You know, it's no good to be a math teacher unless you have somebody, you know, uh, to teach too, right? And for me, the more people, the better. So the only way uh, YouTube uh, promotes this content is they look at subscribers. That's a huge thing. And they look at watch time and comments, etc. But if you want to support what I'm doing and if you're getting value at it, that's great. But, you know, by you subscribing, it helps uh, this video get to other people that can uh, benefit from it. And if you're going to subscribe, hit that notification bell as well so you can get my latest videos. 
All right, so let's go ahead and finish up this problem. So uh, the square root of 2 percent of uh, 5 times the square root of 2. Now this, again, can be confusing, but now that we know that we're going to change this percent to a decimal or a fraction by dividing by 100, the square root of 2 per, uh, percent, we need to convert to this number, the square root of 2 over 100. And then we're going to multiply by this value 5 times the square root of 2. Okay, so let's go and do that now. We have two fractions, so 5 times the square root of 2 over 1, right, because this is a fraction. So all we have to do is put this over 1 so we can have a clear numerator and denominator. And then all we have to do is multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So this is going to be the square root of 2 times 5 times the square root of 2. Now remember, when you're multiplying, order doesn't make a difference. 3 times 2 times 1 is the same thing as 1 times 2 times 3. So here, I'm going to take the square root of 2 times the square root of 2. Let me write this over here. What is the square root of 2 times the square root of 2? Hopefully you know that that is the square root of 4. Okay. So when you have square roots, you can multiply the numbers underneath those square roots, or 2 times 2, which is the square root of 4, which, of course, is 2. So the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 equals 2. So this really here is going to be 5 times 2. So the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 times 5 is the same thing as 5 times 2 over 100. So 5 times 2 over 100 is 10 over 100. And, of course, we can clean that up because 10 over 100, when we reduce that fraction, is 1 tenth. And here is our lovely decimal, which, of course, uh, is 0.1, but we would say that as 1 tenth. So for those of you that are a little bit rusty on your place value, well, you got to kind of, uh, you know, make sure you still remember all this basic stuff way back in the good old days when you were in primary or elementary school. All right. Now, hopefully... This was a fun little problem to do. And if you're struggling with anything here, you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you know, I, I knew this stuff way back in the good old days, and I'm pretty sure you did, okay? But here's the thing. If you still um, have to, you know, understand math, whether you're a student or you're going for some sort of certification, you have to take some sort of entrance exam, or maybe you just want to relearn math, the best way to uh, learn math is not to skip around, Okay. Not to be like, oh, I'll do a little bit here, I'll do a little bit there. What you're doing is kind of learning it in a kind of uh, incoherent kind of way. All right, you'll learn some stuff, and you'll, then you, you know, you're kind of like, oh, I don't want to do this stuff, I'll come over here. What you want to do is get yourself into a very comprehensive, well-organized math course. So I'm going to leave links to all my main math courses, uh, and my courses are designed you know, to basically be followed in order. Now, why is that the case? Because a lot of students, uh, they'll say this, oh, yeah, I understand uh, fractions and order of operations and decimals. Ah, I don't need to waste my time with that stuff, Mr. YouTube Math Man, because I'm a certified professional expert. Well, when I give them a little pop quiz, uh, they don't really understand that, you know, as well as they think. So if you're getting back into math or if you're struggling with math, you got to go back and verify, okay, and do a lot of work on the fundamentals. And then you can build your skills up from there. So check out my main uh, math courses. Uh, I have a ton of courses, but my main most popular ones, I'm going to leave links in the description of this video. So for this particular video, you might want to check out like my Math Foundations, Math Skills Rebuilder, or any one of my algebra courses. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.